Hello everyone, Miss D here. Sorry about the noise in the background, so I hope you can hear me. I am in a noisy place at this time, but I did want to create this video for you um, so you would understand how to create tabs in your resume or any other document to make uh, your dates line up perfectly on your uh, a left alignment. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, and you see I have my ruler here, and what I found out, sometimes the ruler isn't showing. So to show the ruler, all you have to do is go to view, and then you click ruler. If I take the, if I in, uh, disable ruler, my ruler goes away. So make sure you enable ruler so you have your ruler showing. All right, so... In this particular document, which is the resume sample that we have in Canvas, um, you can see that we have our margin set, but we don't have any tab stop set. So you want to make sure that under Accounting and Financial Management, where I put in, I typed in September and the year. You can put in any year you want. And then uh, under Work History, I have Summer and 20. 17 and then again for accounting coordinator i have summer in 2016. make sure that is all to your left so that you can put your tab stops in okay so i'm going to show you now how to create your tab stops so you click on your home tab all right you go to your paragraph launcher and you click on that at the bottom you see the command that says tabs you click on tabs and I know for this particular document, I want a left alignment because I want September 2016, summer 2017, and 20, uh, summer 2016 to all be aligned. I don't want it to be out of line. All right. So what I'm going to do is I know that uh, four is where I want my tab stops because I'm looking at my ruler and I'm going down and I'm like, okay, my tab stop is four here. It, okay, it, it will work. All right. So I'm going to put, first of all, my insertion mark is where I want the tab stop to be. I'm going to type in four and it is going to be left in line and it's going to have no leaders, which means little dots. Okay. And I'm going to click set. All right. Now, for my next tab stop, I'm going to, uh, I, I can click OK. I'm sorry. Okay. For my next tab stop, it's going to be here. All right. And I, I want to make sure that it's four as well. All right. So I'm going through the same scenario. I'm clicking on my paragraph launcher. I'm clicking on tabs. I'm, I'm going to say OK. Four. That's good. I'm going to say set okay and i'm saying okay and then i'm clicking where i want my tab stop to be again for the next item okay so i'm putting my insertion mark right before i where i want the tab stop to be and i'm going to the paragraph launcher and i'm clicking on tabs and i'm going to put four in here tab stop position four and i'm going to make sure it's left in line no leaders and i'm saying set and okay all right, so now when I go up to accounting and financial management, I tab over one. Okay, it's going to stop right on the four. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to summer 2017. I'm tabbing over one time, and it's perfectly aligned. And you can see the tab stop is right here. You see that little L? That lets me know it's a left tab stop. And then I'm going down to my next item just before and i'm tabbing over one time tabbing over one time wait a minute i didn't do it and it's perfectly aligned everything is perfectly aligned okay if you need any other help on on this particular lesson let me know and i'll be more than willing to answer any questions you may have just want to put the student chapter back in the right um, order. All right, but you can see everything is perfectly aligned. So it's a left tab stop 
for each item that you where you wanted on the ruler for me it was a four it could be four and a half it could be five but four worked for me all right thank you and have a wonderful day bye bye